Welcome to another pick a card with me, the Divination Duchess. So today we are going to find out here who's been asking around about you. Who's got your name in their mouth? You know what I'm saying? What's the reason why? You get what I'm saying? How you know this person? We're going to find out all the good juicy details today remember this is a timeless reading so whenever you run into it it should be pertinent to you you're going to tap into your intuition and what choose the one that's calling out to you most so we got pile one right there pile two and then pile three and we are going to tap in to who's asking around about you. If you call to more than one pile, check it out. It could be a couple different people asking around about you. You never know, okay? Sometimes we be popular out here in these streets and don't even know it. All right, let's go ahead and get started here with the reveals. Hey, Pile One. So quickly before we get started, I just want to say if you haven't checked out Patreon, you are missing out on exclusive video content, free live readings every month, an exclusive group coaching community where you get community support, learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into that confidence you deserve, as well as you can find some intuitive courses on my website to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or to simply leave your your toxic relationship patterns behind you and of course if you'd like to book a reading you can find the details for all of that in the description box below all right pile one hey cute stuff hey boo hey okay so we are going to find out who is asking around about you okay we're gonna find out what they asking about why they asking you get what i'm saying we're gonna get clues as to what's going on with this person start off with the tarot as always and then go ahead and get it in with some oracle decks to clarify so let's go ahead and see what's going on here for pile one sir give us insight who's asking around about pile one who's got pile one's name in the mouth okay so that's a hanged man give us more give us more the judgment card the four of cups mm, i can see where this is going okay the ten of pentacles the page of swords three of cups hmm the devil oh yeah mm, mm, mm. the strength card let's get a few more baby the chariot let's move these up a little bit okay 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 what else give us more give us more two of wands i can tell you right now this person is definitely stalking you on social media okay not just asking around now if you got them blocked i'm telling you they lurking okay this person is <laughs> definitely lurking so here's the thing for the most part, I really feel like this person feels very ignored by you, and that's certain, okay? This person just feels like a non-factor in your life, so that's what we're really starting, and I'm getting that here, especially <laughs> with this. Um, it's like this person has come to some sort of epiphanies, clarity of mind with the hangman here, and come to the conclusion, made some judgments here, that you're not really worried about them okay there's something about you being very happy you doing you and it's almost like you haven't really like i don't feel like this is someone that you don't deal with or have cut off because there's no energy saying that but this person does feel like you just ain't worried about them like this person feels like you're doing you you are going and living your life you're happy you're good um I definitely feel like here, this person, like I said, they are, I feel like this person feels left out, okay? I feel like they feel left out of your life or your social circle, left out of, you know, some sort of camaraderie. Because in this Ten of Pentacles here, you see there's a bunch of people, this, this represents usually family, but for some of you, they could be feeling like they are left out of a family life or whatever here. But this could also be like, 
a work family, this could be a friendship group, this could be something here, but this person feels very left out and I almost feel like this is why they need to really kind of lurk and find out what's going on with you because I feel like this person is very interested in you. They're very interested in your life and what you got going on and this person really wants to be part of your life. Like seriously, like I feel a little bit of desperation, especially from this devil card. Like I'm feeling a, a lot of desperation from this person to be part of your life. With this page of swords and this three of cups, I'm telling you right now, this person knows your movements, okay? They be watching you and it can seem maybe a little scary, but if y'all have the same circles or if you've been family before, you know, friends before, we're going to dig more into how you know this person. Um, this person definitely, again, it's like they want to know everything you got going on and then they were sitting around wishing that they are part of it. You get what I'm saying? Like, and so this kind of drives them crazy as well. This person feels like they need a lot of strength here to, you know, not obsess over you or dwell on not being closer with you or dwell on the fact that you're not really worried about them at all. This person really is someone that's sitting there hoping that at some point you notice or recognize their value. I feel like this person has some sort of level of insecurity. Like they're taking it as a stab to their value because you're not really focused on them. Um, but they still have some hope that maybe one day, you know, you will accept them more, like them more, let them more into your life, into your business, your circle. You know, this person wants to be let in. They're hoping that at some point they can, you know, really convince you or talk you into letting your guard down. For some of you, you may have your guard up and for others of you, you just really ain't worried about them is what it seems like. Spirit, tell us here, how does Pile One know this person? How does Pile One know this person? What's been going on? How do they know this person? How do they know this person? We got all that glitters. That's what I'm saying. This person be watching you once again. <laughs> like this person is kind of obsessed with you. I hate to say it. Like they think your life is all that and more. Like they really want to be part of it. Like for real. Um, hmm. Tell us more here. This could be someone that's watching you guys just online. Maybe you don't really know them like that. Um, but it seems like for the most of you is somebody where it looks like it's somebody where at first you was trying to be close with this person or cool with this, maybe starting some sort of relationship with them, whether it be a platonic relationship, like a friendship or a romantic relationship. It's like you started to deal with this person, but realized they wasn't your cup of tea because we got this change in the wind or something changed where you was just like, uh, maybe you got distracted with something else. Maybe you realized they wasn't your cup of tea. Maybe you just realized that something wasn't really meshing good between y'all. Um, this person here is really hoping that over time you will change your mind. Okay. So for some of you, this person could actually be trying to consistently get your attention for others. They could just be walking around like hoping for your attention, but not necessarily calling to your attention. But I can tell you right now that this person definitely watches you a lot. I'm seeing a scene in an office. So for some of you, this is definitely somebody that you either used to work with or may work with or have some sort of, you know, dealings with it, maybe school with or something. But at the end of the day, um, this person, yeah, they are wanting to communicate here something, but it's almost like, I feel like they have some holdbacks and some fears, like some sense of rejection. Yeah, they feel like there's unfinished business. This is definitely someone where you started, you know, kind of giving them a little attention or opening yourself up to them. <coughs> Excuse me, I need some water. You started opening yourself up to them, but at some point you decided, uh-uh, it wasn't a good idea. For some specific of you, it's definitely an ex or somebody you started dating, but it, it was like, a, mm, no, thank you. You know, this really reminds me of, you know, this dude that was a clear no, thank you, but he kept trying to come back. I obviously had to block his ass because it's like, once I tell you no, thank you, that's it. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I found out he was following me on TikTok the other day. When I saw it at the bottom, I'm like, why are you following me? Like, I obviously am blowing you off. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day here, this is somebody that's really watching you and obsessed with you, but you are blowing this person off. You don't really feel they're relevant. And then to the other ones, it's like you may be avoiding them on purpose <laughs> or they're just a non-factor. Like I'm saying, like someone that just idolizes you, but you don't even really notice that they exist. Hmm. What is this person asking around about? What is this person asking around about? Hmm, 
what is this person asking around about? Oh, what is this person asking around about? Mm. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups again, okay? So this person, first of all, is asking around kind of, or like trying to snoop around and figure out what's your likes and dislikes, like figure out things about you because this person is willing to try to change themselves or at least look like they're changing themselves to kind of bring some sort of value to you. So they may be asking about your likes and your dislikes. They may be asking about what makes you happy, like things of that nature, or at least looking online, watching out for these types of things. Um, this person really wants to know how they can bring some sort of value into your life to get your attention. Hmm. I feel bad for this person. I'm like, they want your attention so bad. They really do. They really do. Yep. They're, they're, I'm telling you, this person is trying to find out here how to get you to basically just see, like, see them as somebody relevant. That's all I keep getting here. Yeah. They're trying to follow their gut. They're, they're, hmm. I'm seeing somebody kind of jittery for some of y'all. This person may be, um, a little nervous or anxious, something about their energy, maybe real nervous or anxious. Hmm. What here are they asking about Paolo? What are they asking around about? What do they want to know? <laughs> this person is not just asking about you. They're also like complimenting you, okay? They're like, expressing how much they like you to certain people okay these may people that you maybe people you don't even know this could be they circle it could be people y'all know in common i don't know but this person definitely telling people how much they think you are like this kind of god is how they think you are amazing you get what i'm saying how you have all this strength and all this stuff and then this person is also talking about how you know y'all was cool and then somehow things went left you get what i'm saying and they, again, they want to know what you be doing in your life. Again, like when you're out, when you're out and about, when you're having fun, when you're doing things, when you're maybe walking around and people can see you. Like this person literally just kind of finds little ways to ask about you or see what's going on with you. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's this person's intentions. Yeah, they really, something about your presence is very healing to them. And so this is what they hold on to. So their intentions is to get very close to you here and to kind of reel you back in, even though you ain't really focused on them, just because they love your energy. They feel something about you is amazing. Something about you is very healing. And so this is why they have this little obsession with you. But hey, who am I to talk? you know not my business they can chill maybe you might come along who knows we shall see anyways like share subscribe all that good stuff and until the next time boom bye Hey, Pile 2. So quickly, I just want to say Patreon is the place to be. We got exclusive video content, free live readings every month, exclusive group coaching where there's community and support. You learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into the confidence you deserve. I also have intuitive courses on my website where you can open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, as well as learn to leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you. And if you want to book a personal reading, the details for that is below. All right there, pile two. Hey, boo. Hey, so we're going to go ahead and find out today, baby. Okay. Who is asking around about you? Who's got your name in their mouth? What they asking about? What, you know, they need to know why they doing it. And how you know this person most importantly because it's like who the hell are you you know what i'm saying <laughs> like why are you worried about me like mariah said like why are you so obsessed with me okay so anyways let's go ahead and get it who is asking around about pile two so we got a nine of coins who's asking around a knight of cups who's asking around the judgment card. Who's asking around about pile two? The ace of wands. The high priestess. 
the Emperor, the Ten of Coins, the Page of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Chariot, the Two of Coins, and one more baby, a hot mess, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, let's go ahead and get this together, together. All right, so first of all, I can tell you right now, this is someone who's really just enamored by you, okay? This person almost feel like you and this person don't necessarily talk much. I feel like you know this person from around, okay? Like you know this person from around. Y'all don't necessarily talk much, but there could be some interactions or not too many or like, you know, when it's like a friend of a friend or y'all be in the same circles or maybe you work around this person or you see this person at the same places. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you frequent someplace like a store or a restaurant, something, it's like, you know, this person, but I feel like this person here is someone who really wants to express or try to deepen y'all's connection in some way, okay? This person thinks that you are someone that has great qualities about you. They see you as someone very shiny, um, very attractive, okay? This person um, thinks about coming in with some sort of offering here with this Knight of Cups, this judgment, I feel like they reflect on this quite a bit, okay? And it's the Ace of Wands. They want to see what kind of new sparks can happen between y'all. So for some of you, this is definitely romantic. For others of you, it's just someone that maybe wants to start some sort of friendship, partnership, collaboration. But this person wants to um, definitely get closer to you, okay? This person is someone who when they it's funny because when they tap into both their intuition we got the high priestess then we got the emperor and their logical side okay to them they feel like you represent some sort of family i don't know this person feels some sort of deep connection with you it's like they feel like you're their soul family or something or like this person feels some sort of strange tie to you so you may be feeling this with somebody or you may you don't know who this person is. You may not. They may just be feeling it on their end, okay? Like they've known you before. Yes, that's the type of feeling. I'm hearing like they've known you before. Um, so with that, this person definitely wants to have this kind of creative energy to communicate with you and to see if y'all can come together with this Two of Cups. That's what I'm saying. So either romantically or non-romantically, they want to see if you guys can come together, um, build something more solid, um, move things forward, see if there's a balanced type of connection between you guys. But here's the thing. I feel like this person here almost wishes that you would be the more of assertive one. Like they wish that you could feel this type of connection. You get what I'm saying? And not to say you need to do anything rash, or even if you know who this person is, that's what we're going to check next. Who is this person? But, or how do you know them? But it's like this person here is almost wishing that you would be the one to spark up the idea of y'all coming together. Like if y'all were just sitting there chatting one day and you would be like, hey, would you like to hang out? Hey, would you like to go for coffee? Hey, would you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this person is kind of waiting and hoping and imagining here um, what it would be like if you were to approach them with some sort of offering. Okay, okay. How does Pile 2 know this person? We got blessed. Yeah, this person just feels blessed to be in your presence, like literally. And even in this blessed, it's a 22. I feel like this person, like I'm saying, feel like you guys are a sense of a match. Like, and again, with the two here, the two of cups, you might be seeing two, two, two quite a bit. There's a two of coins. Okay, this you might be seeing some twos around. Maybe this person, it'll give you a little hint. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, this person just feels really blessed to be in your presence here and now. I feel like this is really somebody you see consistently, like, really, I do. And even if it's, like I said, not very personal, it almost, right now I'm seeing a doctor's office. It might be like, you know, you know how someone be helping you at the doctor's office or shoot, hey, we don't know who it may be. But at the end of the day, yeah, I'm seeing that too. So it could be a, some sort of medical facility for some of you that this person, it almost seems like a dreamy, you know, type of this person being enamored by you tell us more here we got to clean it up i feel like this person here 
feels like they need to kind of clean up the way that they are processing all this, their fears, their apprehensions, their hold back. Yes, because it's a never in the story. It's like you keep circulating in their mind. That's why I'm telling you, they would just prefer if you would come around and say something to them or bring the offering to them. I almost feel like they have a deep fear of rejection here. And there's never in the story, it's a little bit of angst with this. Like I keep thinking about it, but I need to say something, but I'm scared to say something, but I know I need to say something, but I'm scared to say something. You get what I'm saying? Like this person's going around in circles in their mind. <laughs> and so it's like every time this person just wishes that they could let go of the freaking anxiousness and allow themselves here to just open up and express to you. Tell us more here. What does this person ask about? What's going on? How does this person ask around? Okay, so it looks like this person most of all likes to talk about how they hope that one day y'all can come together. Yeah, this person's suffering in silence. They talk about how they can't really approach you because of their own level of insecurities or doubts. Um, they're really letting people know here that they have hope that y'all can come together. Yes, they like to reminisce here about like the good things that you guys have discussed or like maybe the smiles exchanged between you guys. Even something as simple as that, like, oh, you know, so-and-so, he or she, you know, they smiled at me today. You know, I was really excited. I feel like sometimes this person may get on certain persons, like certain people's nerves with it. They'd be like, look, just say something or just leave me alone. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this person definitely likes to gossip about how much um, they like you. Okay. Um, this person does like to see if other people are aware of anything about you. So, you know, maybe if, you know, there's other people that have interacted with you, I feel like this person likes to see what they know, what they know about you, what they can become aware of to get closer to you, to understand you better. Um, yeah, because they want to come together with you. So again, this person is really someone who they dream about the day that y'all will have some sort of deeper connection. Yes. They have a lot of doubts. What do we see coming from this person? What do we see coming from this person that's asking around about pile two? Expect a miracle. Again, <laughs> this person is sitting around praying that you're going to be the one to come towards them. And that's what I'm saying. It's because this person really feels a strong connection. Like they feel some sort of soul tie with you. Hmm. This person feels like you represent home. Yes, I don't know what it is. And it goes back to that Ten of Pentacles. This person really genuinely feels some sort of warmth, comfort. I feel like this person has been through a lot for the most part, okay? Um, they haven't really had a lot of love and comfort. And something in your energy levels is just so sweet and so nurturing and so loving to them that they just want more of this. They want to drown in it. Yep. This person has some childhood wounds, okay? Um... And so they like the nurture that comes from you. They do. They like whatever is something here within them that just feels like something about you represents, you know, deeper connection, family, love, stability. And so this person dwells on that. I'm asking, will they be saying something? We got don't back down. It seems like at some point, some of them will. Okay. Um, because they're going to want to stand up for what they really desire here, which is deeper connection with you. So they're not going to back down from that. They're going to move forward at some point. I feel like others of them, excuse me, may just continue to pray and hope and wait for you. So, I mean, that's really up to you. Everything's about free will. But I do see a lot of them, for the most part, speaking up at some point here about the way they feel this deeper connection and how they would like to connect with you personally on a deeper level yes most definitely all right boo that is it please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and i'll be talking with you later
Bye. Hey, Pile 3. So quickly, I just want to tell you about Patreon, where you can find exclusive video content, free live readings every month, and an exclusive group coaching community where you get support and learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal any trauma that blocks love, and help you to step into the confidence you deserve. On my website, you can also find intuitive courses that help you to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or simply leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you for good. If you'd like a reading, you can also book one of those on my website. You can find all the details in the description box below. All right there, pile three. Hey, boo. Hey, so we're going to find out today who's asking around about you. Who's got your name in they mouth? How you know this person? What they're asking about? And, you know, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and find out. Starting off with the tarot, then clarifying with multiple oracle decks like I like to do. So Spirit, give us insight here. Who's asking around about pile three? Who's asking around? Two of coins, six of coins. Who's asking around about pile three? Ten of swords. Who's asking around about pile three? Knight of Wands. Who's asking around about Pile 3? Page of Cups. Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. King of Wands. The Chariot. The Eight of Coins. The Tower. And the King of Swords. Hmm. So I can tell you right now, this is someone who just thinks like things are not fair here. I'm seeing actually two different scenarios, okay? One here is someone's really feeling like it's not fair um, that you cut them off abruptly, okay? Um, and then on the other end here, it really seems like there's someone here that you've been working with towards something. So it could be actually work or some sort of goal or some sort of common goal here. You're supposed to be working towards something here with this person. Um, but they feel like you just kind of went stone cold or cut them off. Hmm. Yeah. Like something is off balance. Like this person feels like things were not fair, but I also feel like this person wasn't being fair with you. That's why you kind of turned your back on them. But instead of this person feeling like, or seeing here where they weren't fair, they're just thinking about how you weren't really fair. And so they're really hurt and feeling, you know, stabbed in the back by this just feel like you just didn't care okay or you just try to abruptly get away from them or turn on them maybe turn on whatever y'all was working towards um definitely that hmm i feel like this person here really enjoyed your energy like there was a lot of I feel like this is someone here where y'all may have boosted each other's egos up or you may have boosted their ego or their, they yours. It's like there was a lot of energy of like admiration and attention, some sort of doting. So this could really be like, oh, we really good. We think it's thieves. But then at some point here, things went left. And so this person is like, you know what? Mm -mm. I don't even want to, you know, deal with pile three. But at the same time, they're asking about you, okay? I feel like this person is... One of those people where they're upset that you just kind of flipped the script on them and they mind, right? Um, even though they may have flipped the script first. So they're telling themselves they don't even want to deal with you. But at the same time, they do go around, you know, asking about you or trying to find out information about you is the thing. So it's like, well, if you're not really worried, then why are you asking for information? Why are you trying to find things out? You get what I'm saying? Let's find out more here hmm. let's find out more how does pile three know this person who's asking around about them who's asking around orphaned yes that's what i'm telling you this is somebody you cut off like 
sure enough, okay? This is somebody you turned your back on and now they are PO'd. But I feel like this person took your kindness for weakness is really what was going on here. And they realized that your cutoff game was strong. Like you're not for it at the end of the day. And so this person now is over here sick. You get what I'm saying? Trying to find out what's going on with you. Missing the way you made them feel. Missing everything that had, you know, like transpire between y'all and so they feel an abandoned because they feel like how dare you just cut me off or how dare you just blow me off so this person is asking questions here <laughs> oh lord you was not for it yes they be watching you boo they be watching you all the glitters this person here really thinks like you're all that and that's what i'm saying like this person really had this deep amount of admiration for you but whatever they did to cross the line here obviously they didn't have enough admiration because you completely just dropped them for some of them they might not have crossed the line maybe you had other um priorities or other things so you had to drop them for some of you you get what i'm saying so they had to just kind of deal with it but this person's not happy it's almost like they're very much yearning for you yes we gotta imagine i feel like this person had very high hopes for y'all's connection or whatever y'all were working towards projects time together life whatever that this person had high hopes okay and now with you just cut them off the hopes is done the hopes is dead so this person is like well, what the hell happened okay i went from you know zero to a hundred real quick it was, it was like everything was fine and now it's a hot mess this person really definitely they feel stabbed in the back they're having to connect a lot with Source to really kind of get over <laughs> this feeling that they have. Um, because they did feel like you were a blessing. Let's see what are they asking about. Let's find out. What are they asking about? Who's asking around the pile? What are they asking? What are they asking here about pile three? What are they asking around? What are they saying? What are they asking? rest and rejuvenate they asking some people why you don't mess with them anymore so this could be you know um people that they just know maybe getting some advice like you think i did something why didn't you mess with me or maybe i went too far or this could be people that y'all know in common you get what i'm saying people that's uh, around um they're definitely asking why you're not messing with them no more authority i feel like this person as well here is wondering how they can really kind of take charge and, and get things going. I feel like this person likes to, I feel like this person has quite a bit of advice is what I'm getting when it comes to you, okay? Advice on what they can do, where maybe, you know, something went wrong, went left. They're trying to really figure out here what, yeah, what they could do to get you back in a place where you have certain passions for them or open yourself to them instead of just blowing them off or cutting them off. Hmm, what are they asking around about? Okay, we got 444. Four, four. You may be seeing those numbers. Okay, 444. Four, four. Yes, baby. Um, yeah, this person is just, they try to ask around to find different reasons. They're saying that this person is discontent with the truth that they feel has, you know, transpired. They feel like there's got to be something else. Like there's no way that, you know, whatever reason they think it is that you cut them off. So they like to ask people around about that. They ask, you know, whoever they know or you know or both of y'all know. They really like to ask about this and try to figure out what's the problem, what they can do to possibly fix it. Hmm. Yeah, this person, like I said, this is really coming from a place of just feeling left out in the cold. Mm. This person's heart aches, okay? We got bodies of water. I feel like this represents this person's heart aching. It's like they may i feel like for some of them they actually cry i really do okay and i feel like it's because of this triggered abandonment issue that has come up and they also are someone here that they keep telling themselves to take a risk and i feel like that's the advice that they're getting from people as well that they're talking to you about um i mean talking about you too is that they're trying to figure out how to take a leap of faith and how not to rush things, okay? How to be patient. This person's really in that mindset to where if they're patient, you know, they're talking about how if they're patient, 
you may come around or people are telling them, yeah, maybe if they're patient, you'll eventually come around. Things can get back on track. So I feel like this person may be given a little bit of space here just to allow things to get back on track. But they do anticipate y'all coming back together. I can tell you right now, bright future, okay? This person anticipates that somewhere in the future, they're going to be able to get their stuff together and go ahead and approach you and hope that things can come back around. So in the meantime, they're going to be asking around about you as part of this strategy. It's really just a strategy that they have here to find out how to get closer to you, how to get back on your good side, how to maybe not get back on your bad side. You get what I'm saying? Or to even see if it's really them or maybe something that you're going through. But I guarantee right now, this person is thinking about how to overcome those hurdles um, and how to get things back going. So they're definitely asking around for advice about that hoping to get closer to you get back in your good graces it's going to be up to you if you want to or not anything else they need to know about this person here who's asking around about them medicine woman yeah this person feels like you have a healing element but at the same time spirit is saying by you doing what you're doing you're actually triggering this person's healing as well to heal some of these um energies of feeling orphaned and feeling abandoned so this is definitely something that was meant to happen here to trigger healing in this person and we'll see what it means for you baby as you are in it or not in it it's all up to you all right that is it it was a pleasure sending you love light and blessings and until the next time bye